Well, welcome to St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish. I'm Father Scott Medlock, the pastor here, and I'd like to to share with you um, how to receive communion. But before I get into the mechanics of that, I'd, I'd like to share with you what is really some good news, and that is that the Archbishop Andrew here in the Archdiocese has asked all of our parishes to implement uh, standards of how we celebrate Mass and our mitigation plans during this time of COVID that are recommended by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. The reason I mention this is that, that the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops has done studies across the nation, rather comprehensive studies, and what they've found is that, that there has not been one case of, that's been documented of COVID being transmitted at mass across the entire country over, I think the study was done uh, six months or so after we began celebrating mass with these mitigation procedures. So it's, uh, uh, it's very encouraging uh, for us to do this and, and for us to know that, that these uh, mitigation efforts are really working. So, as far as receiving communion, what you'll see is that when the, the priest or the deacon come down, that we'll, we'll put on a mask. Now, initially, we will sanitize our hands so that if we happen to be COVID positive and didn't know it, that our hands would be sanitized. Then we put on a mask, and uh, we put on the mask for, for two different reasons. First of all, if I happen to be COVID positive and asymptomatic and didn't know that I had COVID yet, it protects you from me in that close contact of coming forward and receiving communion. And, and that includes in terms of if I didn't have a mask on and I was serving one person after another, um, my breath would be getting on my hand and then I'd be serving communion to people. So for me having a mask on protects you from the possibility of me transmitting the virus to you. The second reason for us wearing masks is for the protection of those who are serving communion. And I, uh, Archbishop Andrew has made a very good point, I think. I completely agree with him. He said that the, those who are serving communion, and let's just say priests and deacons right now, that we're serving hundreds of people who are coming forward. And so one could say that, that you wearing masks is really critically important because our exposure every single week is to hundreds of people uh, coming forward. So just keep this in mind. You know, I don't like wearing masks. I'm sure you don't. In fact, I don't know anybody that likes, likes having to wear masks. But that these are simple things that we're doing that are proving to be incredibly effective at protecting one another from unintentionally transmitting the virus. So with that said, um, the, the, uh, the priest or the deacon or other extraordinary minister of the Eucharist puts on a mask and and then you come from the pews and and what we do here at St. Elizabeth's is that we start out with this side of the church receiving uh, communion first and that makes for uh, people coming down the aisle where they're not bumping into each other. I like to always emphasize don't touch the pews as you walk along and and children, uh, and, or in terms of directing your children, make sure that they don't walk along. I mean, the most natural thing in the world is you walk along, you put your hand on the pew, particularly for children. Um, but we need to teach them not to do that. So the, um, there's one line, so the people all the way over in the wings here, they just follow through the pews one row at a time. And so then one side of the church receives communion, and then the other side receives communion. Now, in terms of, uh, of, the, of coming forward, make sure and maintain the six foot distance from the person in front of you, unless they're part of your family or social bubble. And, um, and so always allow that, that proper distance to be between you. Then you're gonna come forward and you'll see there's a blue line down here and as you come forward, as the person in front of you is receiving communion, 
you bow to the Eucharist and, and then that person will receive and then move off to whichever side it is that, that they're coming from. Um, and, uh, and then Kelly is going to show you exactly how to receive. So what will happen is you'll, you'll come forward, your feet uh, will be right here, basically your toes close to the blue line, and then um, I will, uh, if I was serving you, I would say the body of Christ. I have an unconsecrated host here. And then after you receive, you keep your mask on, and then after you receive, you'll come to the side, away from the priest or the deacon, you'll remove your mask, and, and in, of course, a reverent way, you'll receive communion. And so um, this means that, that you lower your mask away from the one who's serving you communion. And it's become very natural for people who've been coming to Mass regularly, and, and I think that you'll just find it to be very natural. But the important thing that, that I want to emphasize, though, is please keep your mask on you receive communion, then you come off to the side, lower your mask, and receive communion, and then uh, continue on. So we're going to show this specifically with Kelly, uh, Kelly coming forward. The body of Christ. And then um, what, uh, what we do is you walk out to the far side of the pews and then you come back through and return back to your seat. So really it's as simple, uh, as, simple as that. But it, it will be wonderful to have you here worshiping with us and God bless you all.